Women, what's the worst relationship you were in? I have a tendency to get emotional very easily, and it all stems from the trauma in my childhood. As a kid, I had to hide in the closet while watching my dad physically abuse my mom, and even now I break into tears if I try to recall that time. Anyway, as a result I get overwhelmed by emotions and end up crying on a lot of occasions. If I'm reading a really good book, I just randomly start crying towards the end of it. If someone's telling a story where they got hurt, you guessed it, I cry. I just feel very deeply and end up relating to a lot of things, which makes me emotional. I understand that sometimes my crying can be awkward, but I try my best to be a good human being and kind to everyone I meet. That's how I met my boyfriend. We were both volunteers for a blood drive to collect blood for a children's hospital. He noticed how I would get really teary whenever someone would tell a story while donating blood, and I guess that intrigued him. We started dating almost immediately because he left a really good impression when he didn't judge my crying. However, after six months of dating, something changed in him. He had just moved in together into my apartment and started acting differently than before. If I got teary while hanging out with our friends, he would ignore me and avoid me like I was the plague. When I tried to tell him a story about my work, he would always say, that's probably not how it happened and you're just exaggerating because you're emotional. I retorted that even though the story might not be 100% accurate, I wouldn't lie to him about something I went through. What really put me off however, was that if we watched a movie together and there was a sad scene, I would start silently crying. And he would just turn the movie off immediately, claiming I had ruined the mood by crying and he didn't want to watch a movie that made me cry. I felt really guilty about ruining his mood and apologized, but feeling guilty made me cry even more. I tried communicating to him about my trauma, but it was a slow process since I hadn't fully healed. That's when my boyfriend crossed a line that I never thought he would. I was reading a book while he was working in his home office. We often sit close to each other to enjoy each other's presence, so it wasn't strange that I was sitting behind him while he worked. Anyway, a character in my book passed away while trying to save his daughter, so I started crying from all the emotions. My boyfriend turned his head around and said, stop being so dramatic and crying all the time, I'm trying to work here. His tone was really blunt and startled me for a second, after which I said sorry and tried to wipe my tears. He just started a weird monologue, calling me overly dramatic and accusing me of faking my tears. That's when we got into an argument where I explained to him that crying is just how I deal with emotions, and he needs to learn how to better understand me. All of a sudden, he raised his voice and yelled, just stop crying, how hard could it be? Hearing a loud voice out of nowhere made me flinch and remember how my dad used to yell at my mom, and I broke down sobbing. Remembering that time of my life made me angry and emotional, and I thought my boyfriend would realize his mistake and apologize. Instead he said in a snarky voice, crying during an argument is a great way to manipulate me into being your slave. This makes me think all that trauma you talk about isn't even real, and just your exaggeration. I legit paused in between sobs to fully understand what he had just said. Forget feeling guilty about yelling at me, he actually accused me of trying to manipulate him just because I was crying. I couldn't take it anymore, and somehow controlled my sobs enough to tell him to leave. He laughed and said this was his room, so I should leave instead, but I said if he didn't leave my apartment immediately, I was going to call the police. That's when he realized how seriously he had messed up, and tried to apologize. But I was typing 911 even as my tears fell on my phone screen, which finally made him leave. After kicking him out and spending the entire night crying due to how much his words had hurt me, I had enough. The next day I packed up all of his stuff and threw it out, and then texted him that he can pick everything up because we were done. He kept apologizing, and said we can fix this, but I didn't want to be with someone who trivializes my trauma and uses it as a way to hurt me, just like my father did with my mother. 